what we in generally generally are seeing is that there's a lot of especially large UK investors which are coming to Germany and say please just offer us what's possible and because it's also very diversified in risk etc but um, funnily enough we're seeing quite a few uh, German and smaller also Dutch investors which are saying well, you know what Manchester Liverpool might just be something for us because Liverpool, for example, their water project uh, alongside the water is, is going to become booming. But you just got to sit it out. And I think that that's, those are the kind of... It's not the large sovereign funds. Uh, they all tell us, let's go to London. Oh, oh there's, there's hardly any supply. Okay, well then, we'll, you know, we'll just wait till someone's ready to, to sell off. So we're on top of these, these larger projects. But indeed, it's the, it's the medium investors which are more moving to the, to the second uh, tier, third tier cities. Well, I think uh, Clarissa made a, made a very good point, and DJ as well. It's when we talk about the UK, then uh, typically people think about London, because London is so big. It's the same as when you talk about France, you talk about Paris, because Paris is so big. But what we have seen, I think, is that we have seen first the, I would say, more domestic or knowledgeable investors that know the regions um, go out and actually invest there. So that probably that trend has started to... 18 months, 24 months ago. So actually there is more demand, there's more liquidity in these markets as well. And where we saw the city of London first starting to improve on the occupier side, we're now starting to see that happening in the bigger regional cities in the UK. And actually our, our rental forecasts for some of these cities are, are higher than they are for the central London market. So you do see that there is definitely a lot more happening. And to put it very generally, is London is, is, is global, so it's much more stable in its underlying economics. The rest of the UK is slightly more cyclical. So when the UK economy is starting to recover, the effect is much more stronger in Birmingham, with a very strong manufacturing base, and in Manchester, and in, and in Glasgow, etc. So that definitely helps to build the case to, to go to the regions. And it's actually even now that some of the big international investors are, are asking us about what can we do in, uh, in Manchester and in Birmingham and in Bristol.